One thing that I think that we can do to tackle knife crime is change the culture within those communities so that they do not look up to um, the drug dealers and do not look up to um, the, the, the olders that are um, pushing the drugs and that are involved in the, in the, in the gang life and, and so on and so forth but instead they, they look up to people that are, um, are businessmen and entrepreneurs and people that are doing um, involved in education and so on and so forth and that they actually look and despise the gang culture and, and so on and so forth a lot of people yeah if you listen to the music and so on and so forth yeah they, they speak their message through their music and they, they, they glorify the lifestyle and they like living the lifestyle that they live. Um, I'm, I'm from um, an area in Bristol where they do um, a lot of people are involved in that and I know a lot of people that are involved in that and um, and I can tell you from experience right that that um, it's, 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 it's how um, um, the youngsters grow up and who they're involved around and who they're surrounded around that influences their behaviours. <laughs> Stay away from bad people. <laughs> um, have more for younger people to do because I think they get bored easily and they all just like like the youth clubs and like boxing. That's yeah, boxing's good because it stops them from going out and doing bad things. So, yeah. I think that the best thing that we could do right now is probably invest a lot more in re-education rather than the criminalization of the actual carrying of a knife. Because of course it's a bad thing, but stopping someone from doing it before they even think about it is probably a better idea than just trying to prevent it after it's already happened. Uh, maybe, I don't know, raise the punishment or something like that. Maybe get like a higher sentence and if you're like having to get jail time or something. Um, not really sure, to know. maybe just like raise the punishment or get. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is to do with America. Sto uh, 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 Donald Trump, this to like not allow people to have guns. Because, like, uh, that's. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Sorry, sorry. Uh, they can help young people to do better things and maybe even older people. They can figure out their problems, they can like look more into their lives, help them like do maybe like activities and clubs so they can like focus off those bad thoughts and keep them away from bad people. Yeah. Um, and inequality? Tougher sentences. Minimum of 10 years to start. Um, I would say give people up with more opportunities to make some of themselves. A lot of people doing knife crime probably just to rob people and stuff, but didn't have to rob people in the first place. That helped, I think. Not a lot of um, opportunities for young, young people have um, since they uh, were growing up, so I think that would help. Uh, basically, the, the police, they need to, um, instead of just locking these people up and putting them away, yeah, they need to organise some stuff like activities for the kids so they're not bored out on the street. So that they think that they're gonna, they need to like join the gang and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? Um, harder up on the laws, make it stricter and uh, not to be so soft on the ones that are involved. So, yeah. Have police in the street searching, not searching people, but have police in the street making sure that there's no fights going on and there's nothing escalating to that stuff. Um, just like be, have more security on like where they sell knives and stuff, so like people aren't just getting like kitchen knives, and just, like going everywhere. Like they're not actually cooking. Okay. Um, and follow me on Instagram, Ramsey dot underscore dot down. How do we tackle knife crime? That's a good question. The question today is how do we ta tackle knife crime? We tackle knife crime by admitting that knives don't kill, people kill. And so the problem is not the knives, the problem is the people who hold the knives. And the problem with the people who hold the knives is that their hearts are in enmity with God. Their hearts are in anger and rebellion against God. So knives don't kill in the same way that guns don't kill. People kill. So the answer to the problem is not taking away the knives. The answer to the problem is dealing with man's heart.
I'm kind of watching at the street, so if anyone does put any like this, I'll just have to quickly. I think we just need to have more positive role models for our young men. Do more stop and search. That's the way to do defense my friend. I think they should go around all the junior schools and educate young people about knife, knife crime. And as they get a bit older, it might help to realise um, not to have carry knives. Just to get education at a younger age, so you can have police officers going in and announcing statistics to the younger generation. Um, invest more in the better, more education and jobs. Um, personally, I think um, someone that growing up, uh, I used to go to youth clubs a lot, um, and I've seen the funding's cut for youth clubs, and um, they used to have like uh, role models there that you could go talk, and with that, you know, it was somewhere, a place that kids could go and chill out as well. Um, I think with um, government funding being cut for youth clubs, I think if without them role models there, they're going out on the streets, they're getting led down the wrong path, and inevitably there's knife crime. Um, I think, yeah, if that funding was there, then, you know, it might stop this. The kids, you know, they might have to go down the right path. Stop selling knives to kids. <laughs> is make sure there was a class at school that taught the children that knives and guns are dangerous. They need to be taught at school, they need to learn before they leave education, yeah, because they think it's cool to pick up a knife, yeah, and what they learn at school they keep, yeah. So maybe we should, maybe we just get a program into our schools so our kids know that knives are kill, alright? Bring back the death penalty for premeditated murder. 